26, we know you want your kids to succeed, but sometimes what you teach them at home may not carry over to school life and vice versa. This can cause a child to act out or even make them want to keep to themselves. And certainly we should all be concerned about that because a child's success affects certainly our community as a whole. Now, uh, that's why we are raising the bar. And news anchor Dana Roselli talks to experts and also introduces us to a local mom who knows a lot about this topic. Yeah. Jackie Eddy and her son Anderson are enjoying life in Las Vegas, and Anderson is enjoying school. But Jackie knows there will be some bumps in the road in the future. Being a parent of a mixed race child, though I will have challenges in the future, there are going to be some lived experiences that he's going to have that I'm not going to be able to relate to. Growing up, Jackie attended school all over. Her family is from Colombia. She grew up and went to school in South America, Mexico, California, and Seattle, Washington. She struggled a lot, and she thinks her teachers could have done more. You gotta put your feet way over his head. <laughs> She made it, and now she's in her second year at the School of Psychology at UNLV. Sam Song is one of Jackie's professors. He studies cultural mismatches and their impact. Mismatches are incompatibilities between the home culture and the school culture. What if you're from uh, students from a culture that teaches you if you have not to actually ask for help, right? That the teacher is the expert. And, and you wait for the teacher to teach you. Another example would be eye contact. Some cultures teach kids not to look someone directly in the eye when they are speaking, out of respect. Well, this may be the opposite of the norm, but it's what the child learned at home. That mismatch can affect how kids interact at school. Students don't get along with students, so they can uh, not have a lot of friendships and they can maybe be isol socially isolated and maybe even lead to school bullying. This can all create a negative learning environment and a lack of ability to concentrate. A family might not feel comfortable approaching a teacher and expressing what their values are and what, they, what they're looking for in their child's education. So I would really encourage educators to kind of start that dialogue. That's why family school partnerships are important to moms like Jackie. When Anderson is rewarded at school for doing a good job, she carries that reward system through to home life. So what is the solution? Well, a lot of it, it starts at home. But like Jackie said, it also should come from the school. Teachers communicating with the students is extremely important. Jennifer Besco agrees. She's the director of Hope Squared. This program provides mentoring, social workers, and helps the parents as well. Its goal is to help students of all cultures and backgrounds succeed. If they succeed, it benefits everyone that lives here. When a student is expelled from school, this is the same kid, he's still in your community. Um, you're still going to see him at the grocery store. You're still going to see him down the street. So the bottom line is, do you want the student ignorant or do you want them educated? Because eventually they're going to be the leaders of our community. And those potential leaders will have different experiences and different backgrounds. Kids need good role models. Experts say it makes a huge impact on whether or not they will be successful. Everybody has a different lived experience. So while I'm Latina, my experience is going to be very different from another Latinx family who may have immigrated from you know, Mexico or any other country, right? Their experience is very different. It's not a one-size-fits-all. Dana Roselli, 13 Action News.